Welcome back to Blogging the Boys, everybody. This is Derek Kirby back with this week's Madden Simulation. The Cowboys have clinched a playoff spot and are looking to move to 5-0 in the division with a win and a sweep of the Washington football team. Now, there's a lot of notes for this game here, so get ready. First, we have left Tyron Smith out of the lineup for Dallas. We have also consulted our friends over at Hogs Heaven, that's the SB Nation Washington football team site, to get an idea about who to leave off there, and it's a lot. Curtis Samuel, JD McKissick, Brandon Sheriff, David Mayo, Kendall Fuller, Cam Curl, and they didn't tell us Cole Holcomb, but he has since been placed on the COVID list and we've removed him as well. Now, when you mess with this many players, it's important to know Madden doesn't always know how to handle that. So it would not be surprising in the least if some of these guys still showed up in special teams, for instance, but hopefully it's going to be pretty minimal. Without further ado, let the game begin. Washington starts with the ball here. And we got a Randy Gregory sighting right off the bat, recreating his special moment with Heineke. Randy Gregory getting into the backfield on the first possession, dropping Heineke with a nice sack on second and three. That's a good response for Dallas here because this is going to blow up this drive nice and early. Good gain on the first couple downs, but here it pushes them into a third and 10. And I'm gonna give you an idea here. They're not gonna make it. Well short of the sticks, good tackle in space by Anthony Brown. I don't know who number 77 is. Apparently Luka Doncic is playing for the Cowboys now. Dak Prescott hands off, Zeke bounces out wide, cuts back inside, gets a nice little game. Two rushes, seven yards for Zeke. Dallas comes out running the ball a lot. Three straight runs to open this game for Dallas. Here's Zeke now, third and three, big hole up the middle almost to midfield to the 47 yard line of Dallas. Three rushes, 19 yards for Zeke to start the game. Prescott empty set in the shotgun, hits a slant to Amari Cooper. Cooper is shaken up on the play, however. Prescott in the shotgun, Zeke to his right, takes the snap, looks over the middle, he's got all day. And yes, your eyes are not mistaken, that is Amari Cooper. He missed just one play before immediately making another big gain. Dallas down to the nine yard line. Now flash forward to the one yard line on third and goal. Prescott's gonna go under center here. I'm looking for an Elliott handoff. There's the handoff and Zeke dives into the end zone. It is a Cowboys touchdown. That's a great opening drive for Dallas. What I really like is they got probably their two most essential guys going. Elliott got a lot of handoffs early, got a lot of touches, made some good yardage with it, and Cooper was found early and often. After the Washington team gets nothing on their next possession, Dallas takes over, and Dak on third and four gets 27 yards. Goodness. We have not seen Prescott run like that all year. Cowboys at the end of one lead seven to nothing, absolutely dominating the time of possession. Prescott now out of the shotgun, checks down to Zeke. It's well blocked on third and four. It's going to be a first down pickup for the Cowboys. Third and five now. Prescott takes the snap. Looking, looking, looking. Over the middle, big completion to Michael Gallup. Ooh! I thought Michael Gallup might fall into the end zone there, but man, he gets blown up by the second defender. All the same, Cowboys down to the one on first and goal. Prescott tries to go RPO, does not get it. Loses a couple yards, in fact. Second and goal here from the three. Prescott under center. Elliott out behind him. Hands off to Elliott. Elliott walks it in. Two touchdowns for Elliott in the first half. Cowboys lead 14 to nothing. Washington's going to try and come back now. Heineke in the shotgun. Got the ball throwing deep down the field. Oh, they throw a flag. Who's that on? Micah Parsons? All right. Micah Parsons hasn't had a pass interference all year that I'm aware of. But uh, the, the game's going to get him here, and it's a 32-yard penalty, so a big pickup for Washington. Heineke scrambling, taking too long. Oh, so Diggy Zua gets home. 
five-yard sack on first down. That's a good response after a big penalty. Heineke in the shotgun. He's going to scramble out right, throw over the middle. Ooh, you get a hand up from Trayvon Diggs, breaks it up on third down. Might have been picked. Surprised it wasn't, honestly, but it's fourth and six. Here comes a Washington field goal, and they are on the board. 14 to three Dallas with three minutes and 20 seconds left in the first half. Dak Prescott, play action, sitting all day in the pocket, complete to Dalton Schultz. Dak is seven of nine for 90 yards. Good start for Prescott here. Out of the shotgun, Prescott gonna go play action again. Strike over the middle to Amari Cooper. Cowboys now move down the field to, to the seven yard line and it's a completion for a touchdown, Dalton Schultz. Cowboys, three possessions, three touchdowns. You can't write a much better recipe than that for the first half. 21-3 Dallas. Washington's going to try and come back now. Heineke scrambling out. Big gain down the sideline. Wow, what a gain. Down to the 50-yard line. Washington takes a timeout. They're now to the Cowboys' 45-yard line. And oh! LVE should have had a sack there. McLaurin then gets away from Micah Parsons. What is happening on that possession? Third and six, Heineke drops back. And he's going to be... Is that a sack? Yes, they're saying it's a sack. Randy Gregory gets his second sack of the day. This one basically erases the threat in the first half. Dallas with a commanding 21-3 lead at the break, dominating in all categories here. Elliott was the workhorse of the first half, 14 carries for 58 yards, two touchdowns. That's a lot of carries for Zeke, especially for the first half. With these condensed quarters, he's usually not going to get much more than 14 touches in a game. And right on cue, good Lord, look at the hole he's running through. He's not usually going to get much more than 14 touches in a game. So for him to do that in the first half really shows the emphasis on the game plan for Dallas, taking care of the ground game. And Prescott now, he's going to roll out. I don't even know why he bothered to throw that to Cedric Wilson. He could have easily just walked that across for a first down himself. But uh, it's all fine. It's all good. Third and four now from the Washington 20, and it's, uh, ooh! All right, well, that's an ugly duck of a pass. Could have been intercepted and taken for a pick six. Instead, it falls incomplete. Dallas settles for a field goal, and it's 24-3. to three. Good play there in the backfield by Carlos Watkins, breaking down, breaking down his man and getting Gibson in the backfield. Third and six now, Heineke, empty set. Out of the shotgun, throws over the middle, completed to McLaurin. Not bad, not bad. Washington down, going into the fourth quarter, down 21 points. This has been rough for Washington. And here's a completion. They will move the chains. Third and three now for Washington from the Cowboys. Eight, scramble on the run, and it's a touchdown. Washington finally finds the end zone. It is 24-10, Dallas. Prescott's going to roll out, and he's going to get sacked. That's a big loss. Dallas possession goes nowhere. Washington comes back two and a half minutes to play. It's fourth and nine. They're going to go for it. Incomplete, but there is a flag. Anthony Brown, pass interference. That's going to move the ball. Wow, that's another big, that's a 35-yard penalty there. Wow, okay. And Washington now, hold, hold on now. Washington is drawn within seven. All right, third and five here. Prescott is, oh my goodness, he's intercepted. Intercepted at the 34-yard line. Washington takes over at the Cowboy 33. Goodness. We have a ball game. Heineke is sacked and he fumbles the ball. And Dallas recovers it. Neville Gallimore falls on top of the ball. Osa Odigizua gets the strip sack. Neville Gallimore falls on top of it. How about that for the Cowboys defensive tackles? Doing work. And that'll take care of it. Dallas will kneel this one out. They go into the fourth quarter with a 21 point lead. Have to hang on for dear life before they are saved by the defense. I wanted to, to criticize Madden a little bit 
for how willing it was to have Prescott throw an ugly turnover, an ugly interception there at the end of the game. But uh, we've kind of seen that the past two weeks as well against Washington and against New York. So, yeah, I can't really fault you for that part, Madden. All the same, the defense steps up, gets the stop. Cowboys get a 24-17 victory. They are unbeaten in the NFC East, and they have clinched the NFC East division. Pretty good stuff for the Cowboys here. They are currently the two seed. We'll see if this holds out, if they're able to move up or not. They sit one game back of Green Bay. We'll have to keep watching. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment below, subscribe to Blogging the Boys, and until next time, remember... That's my tagline, not theirs. Thanks for watching, guys.